This video gives a brief overview of enhancements in the HTML5-based vSphere client when working with vCenter High Availability. This video also demonstrates the workflow of the new Setup vCenter HA wizard to configure the passive and witness nodes as part of the vCenter HA configuration. In vSphere 6.7 Update 1, the following improvements have been made to configure vCenter HA. You can now configure and monitor vCenter HA using the vSphere client. The vSphere client has improved usability and enhancements over the vSphere web client. You can enable vCenter HA on a node that is being managed by vCenter in another domain through the vSphere client. You no longer need extra scripts such as prepare vCHA to configure vCenter HA. The Setup vCenter HA wizard enables you to create the vCenter HA configuration of a three node cluster that contains active, passive, and witness nodes. To launch the Setup vCenter HA wizard, navigate to the vCenter server host, select Configure, and select vCenter HA under Settings. Click the Setup vCenter HA button to start the wizard. This initial screen also performs some checks on the vCenter HA prerequisites. In this video, we show a vCenter server that is managed by another vCenter server. If the vCenter server is self-managed, you would skip this step and start with the Resource Settings section. If the active node is managed by a different vCenter host and you do not have the login credentials, click I do not have single sign-on administrator credentials of Management vCenter Server. You must first configure vCenter HA, then manually create the Virtual Machine clones. Here, click Management vCenter Server Credentials. Specify the Management vCenter Server FQDN or IP address, the single sign-on username and password, and click Next. You might see a certificate warning. Review the SHA1 thumbprint and click Yes to continue. In the Resource Settings section, select the vCenter HA network for the active node from the drop-down. Make sure Automatically Create Clones for Passive and Witness nodes is checked. If you do not select the checkbox, you must manually create clones for Passive and Witness nodes. For the Passive node, click Edit and fill in the settings for Virtual Machine Name, Compute Resource, and Storage. At the Network step, enter the Management Network, NIC0, and the vCenter HA Network, NIC1. Review your settings and click Finish. For Witness node, click Edit, repeat a similar process to enter settings, review them, and click Finish. Then click Next to enter the IP settings. In the IP settings section, select the IP version from the drop-down and enter the IPv4 address for NIC1 and subnet mask or prefix length information for the active, passive, and witness nodes. You can edit management network settings for the passive node. Customizing these settings is optional. By default, the management network settings of the active nodes are applied. Click Finish. The passive and witness nodes are created and the UI is updated with the node status. After vCenter HA is enabled, you can click Edit to enter maintenance mode, click Initiate Failover to initiate a manual vCenter HA failover, or click Remove vCenter HA to remove the cluster. To put the cluster in maintenance mode, click Edit. Select Maintenance Mode and click OK. In Maintenance Mode, replication still occurs between the active and passive nodes. However, Automatic Failover is disabled. To resume Automatic Failover, click Edit and select Enable vCenter HA. This video has shown the enhancements and improvements to working with vCenter High Availability in the vSphere client. 
For additional information about vCenter HA, visit docs.vmware.com.